Johnny, 35 year old without any previous history of kidney problems, presented to the emergency room with severe back pain. Your kidneys are in danger, said the doctor. Johnny ended up in the ER just because he tried to eat healthier. It was the worst pain in my life. I wasn't urinating at all. Until one morning, I had to sprint to the bathroom. Then, the pain hits. What feels like gravel starting tearing through my urethra. The doctors were saying that I might have lost up to 18% of my kidney function. And it all happened just due to a food I was eating to try to slim down and eating healthier. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for almost 10 years now and I've met countless people whose kidney health was destroyed by eating junk food. Now the worst part, many of them were eating the most dangerous junk foods right when they thought they were eating healthy. Every day, big corporations come up with new ideas to make us think that their sugar-packed chock full of preservatives and chemicals junk foods are healthy. Because just like what happened to Johnny, is when you try to eat healthier that you risk the most. Wait, wait, wait. What? Let's start immediately. Let's see what the top 10 most dangerous kidney damaging foods sold as healthy are. Our number 10 is a food that many people still consider healthy and that was recently busted by research conducted by Yale University. What they found out is that eating this one may put you at risk for diabetes and obesity. Number 10 is sugar substitutes. Though sugar substitutes may be calorie free, but that doesn't make them healthy food. Research conducted at Yale University indicates that artificial sweeteners can increase your overall caloric intake, make you crave real sugar, and may put you at risk for diabetes and obesity just like the real stuff. Not to mention that most zero-calorie sweeteners are also linked to gut health issues. To avoid this, only use artificial sweeteners in moderation. Our number 9 is something you shouldn't eat at all, not even in moderation. Number 9, granola. They are sold as sweet and natural. But both granola and granola bars usually made using butter, vegetable oil, and white sugar. Just a half cup of Kellogg's Special K touch of honey granola packs 9 grams of sugar coming from 4 different sources including white sugar, honey, corn syrup, and molasses. And many granola bars have up to 5 teaspoons or 20 grams of sugar in a single serving. Very bad for you and not only for diabetics. Sugar consumption is linked to inflammation, high blood pressure, heart disease, and kidney disease. Our number 8 is another food that tricked too many people into eating junk foods exactly when they were trying to eat healthy. Number 8. Low-fat salad dressing Low-fat foods were once thought to be weight loss friendly when, in fact, they often just as bad if not worse than their full-fat counterparts. Low-fat salad dressings often make up for their lack of satisfying fat by adding sugar, high fructose corn syrup, salt, and scary additives and preservatives to the recipe instead. For instance, a 2 tablespoons serving of canned fat-free sun-dried tomato vinaigrette has a shocking 14 grams of sugar. What even worse? Number 7. Veggie chips. Although veggie is in the name, veggie chips are a terrible snack. These airy, crunchy, straw-shaped crisps contain no fiber or healthy nutrients and they are almost as bad as potato chips because they are full of saturated fats. Veggie chips are a processed snack that is high in sodium and should always be avoided. Guys, if it comes in chip or bar form, chances are it's not good for you. Now, 
you may ask. There are quite a few foods that are way less healthy than people think. Is it really worth it to avoid all these foods? Guys, I often get asked by people here on Double Kini, Catherine, what's the most important thing we need to do to improve our kidney function? And I always give them the same answer. Watch what you eat very closely. It's a proven fact that the right diet can help you improve your kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. And I know that many of you guys are already doing their best to follow the perfect kidney diet and that's great. But unfortunately, there are some foods so dangerous for the kidneys that eating them even as a part of an otherwise good diet would rapidly undo any improvement. So if you're doing all you can to improve your kidney health and nothing works, the reason may be one of the foods of today's video. Because if you think the foods we have seen till now are bad, wait to see the next six, we are also going to see what caused Johnny all his trouble. Before that, here's another junk food item that advertising spent decades convincing people it's actually healthy. When something tells you that you need to lose the odd pound or two, it's worth dipping into a pot of your play diet yogurt. Oh yes, avoid exercising, eat diet yogurt. These commercials kill more people than con. How is this even legal? Yes, our number six is diet foods. Years and years of aggressive marketing campaign by food brands like the one we have just seen ended up instilling in the consumer a fake sense of what's actually healthy. This is why very often we ended up eating the unhealthiest things when we think we are eating healthy. Example, this is diet yogurt. If we check the label, we can see that there's actually no fat in it. That's how they reduce calories. What they don't tell you is that in milk and yogurt, the naturally present fat is probably the healthiest part. And they removed it just to add, oh, here it is, sugar. Don't get fooled, guys. Always check the labels so you can avoid foods with an excessive amount of added sugar, like this one. Next on, a food made with only one goal in mind, for people trying to eat healthier. Number five is vegan meat. Here, take a look. How appetizing. Vegan meat is back and now it is being marketed as the way to save the planet. Yes, people are convinced that this burger is going to solve all the health, environmental and ethical problems of the world. This burger. <laughs> Okay, I've actually tried it and it doesn't taste as bad as it looks, but is it healthy? To get an answer to this question, we need to understand what vegan meat really is. Vegan meat is basically made from pea protein, soy protein, wheat gluten, various types of vegetable oils, tons of additives, starches, all heavily processed to look like this. And the problem is not just that it look like this, it also doesn't really taste like meat. So food companies also add lots of salt, saturated fats, and more additives. Guys, especially for people with kidney disease, vegan meat may be really unhealthy. And just like every food that's pumped with preservatives, unhealthy oils, additives, and salt, this burger is not going to be healthy for everyone, let alone save the planet. What's even worse, here is a food so unhealthy that it also comes with a deceased name after it. Number four is microwave popcorn. Have you ever heard about syndrome called popcorn lung? Bronchiolitis oblate runs, also called popcorn lung, is a respiratory condition that affects mostly workers at factories that package microwave popcorn. Don't put that in your microwave and most importantly in you and this is a real shame because you know popcorn by itself is pretty healthy it's low in calories and rich in fiber but only if you buy unsalted and unflavored kernels and air pop them in a pan never buy microwave popcorn almost time to see what junk food sold as healthy sent johnny to the er you won't believe how seemingly innocent our number one actually is. 
Before that, two more health dangerous food companies have no shame selling us healthy. Number 3. Fruit Juices This is one of the worst especially because it's marketed towards children. It's no secret that food companies are to blame for today's obesity epidemic and fruit juices are one of the causes. If you're drinking a cup or 250 milliliters of fruit juice, you're ingesting up to 30 grams or 8 teaspoons of sugar. And that's a lot of calories that will go in your blood real quick, causing a spike in insulin. And sugar, especially in this quantity, is not just linked to diabetes but also to high blood pressure, inflammation, and heart disease. What can be even worse? Imagine if they also added some more potassium to all that sugar. What we will get is uh, number two, sport drinks. Even if you're sweating like LeBron in the playoffs, there's virtually no good reason for most people to be downing sport drinks. In addition to their potentially carcinogenic artificial colors, most sport drinks have similar amounts of sugar to soda. And if you are a kidney disease patient, consider that these drinks are also chock full of potassium, making them a double whammy for you. Avoid them. Okay guys, time now to see what happened to Johnny so you can avoid this danger too. When I was 35, I went on a health kick trying to slim down my dead body and I drank a lot of water. I've been drinking the high alkali water, pH 9 plus stuff, smart water, 7-11 water and so on. So I noticed some pain in my lower back on Sunday. I thought it was muscles, you know, the whole new workout, get fit. End of the day, I was in excruciating pain from mid back around to the front and all down my left side. Then the right side started hurting. I also noticed I hadn't been peeing much. I wasn't urinating at all until one morning I had to sprint to the bathroom. It was the worst pain in my life. It feels like gravel starting tearing through my urethra. And I had to go to the ER. It's kidney stones. They assume it's calcium oxalate, the common type. Weird thing, I haven't been upping my calcium intake at all. Okay guys, have you already figured out our number one for today? Number one is smart water and alkaline water. What happened to Johnny is more common than people realize. What big brands do turn normal water into smart or alkaline water is to increase pH via calcium carbonate. And here's a reason why calcium supplements are considered dangerous. Large doses of supplemental calcium, especially if taken separate from a meal, may lead to stone formation. Johnny didn't know this and he ended up in the ear just when he was trying to get healthier. Now some good news, after spending the night in the hospital, he was discharged in the morning. The doctor told him to just drink regular water from now on. Johnny was eventually able to get back to his family and make a full recovery. Question, is there anything we can eat at all? Now guys, whenever I talk about what foods or supplements or habits are bad for you, I always get the same question. Is anything, anything at all that we can actually eat? Absolutely! In my video up here, you will find a list of all those foods you cannot miss in a renal diet. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.